Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you spend most of the time at home, like me, and that you are still healthy. Today, I would like to show you how to remove a moving object from a clip in DaVinci Resolve. So today, we will be using a Fusion Tab which is a very advanced tool that comes with Resolve 15 and 16 and it's free to use, that's why I chose it today, so everyone can try it. We will be turning this shot into this one. So basically, we will be removing this cute doggy from the shot. I don't know why would I do this, but let's do this today just for the sake of the tutorial. Let's move to the main part of the video. I already have my clip on a timeline and I have my Fusion tab opened. You can swap between the tabs here in Resolve 15 or 16, it doesn't matter which one you use. And many of you may not be familiar with Fusion, but don't worry, today's tutorial will be very easy and it will be a good introduction to how Fusion actually works. Also here we have our notes where media in is our starting image and media out is our ending image and we will be putting additional nodes in between these two in order to apply different effects. So this is our clip. I'm gonna play it again. And the first thing to do now is to click shift space on Mac or control space on PC and it will open our effects. And I have already typed it in, but if you don't, you just have to type paint in the window here and then select our paint effect. Okay, it appeared on the timeline, but it's disconnected from our clip. So by using these arrows, I'm gonna put it in between our in and out nodes. Okay, and now first make sure that you have stroke selected here, not a multi-stroke, because it will only do one frame by default, which is a bit annoying. Then we go to modifiers, apply controls, and we will choose clone. Then I'm going to choose still source, and I'm going to tell you why we have to do this. So for example, to remove a dock from this part of the shot, we will have to take and clone a frame from the later point of this shot. For example, here, when the dock is not in this area, and then we'll use a paint clone tool to remove him frame by frame and to replace this area with that another frame from the clip. So I have my still source selected, then I have to choose a frame that I want to copy, which in this case will be my last frame, which is 133. And then also we have to choose our source clip, which will be obviously our starting image. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it here like this and we are almost ready to go now i will just change the size of my brush because i think it's too small so i will open my brush controls and increase the size and now we can start painting i'm trying to be quite precise while doing this because i want to cover the whole object yeah, it's quite amazing how it works Okay, and when it's done, I will be just moving frame by frame using the arrows on my keyboard, removing all the details of the object. So there's something here, so I'm gonna stop and paint over it. And there's more. So basically every time I see our object appearing, I'm stopping and just painting over. Okay, I will go back now to check if I have removed everything. A bit here. And then at the end, I can't use the same frame to cover the object anymore because as you can see here, there's still a part of the dog. So now I will use the first frame when this area of the image is clear. So I'm gonna change our source time to frame one and I can carry on with painting. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, now let's gonna play the clip to see if the object has been perfectly removed. Yeah, looks great. And again, before and after. That's all for today. I hope you liked it. I'm preparing a lot of very helpful tutorials for you. So if you are interested, just click subscribe button and wait for another tutorial.